yo what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we have a very important video to discuss about that has been generating some confusion lately <laughs> we're gonna talk about using the hdmi 2.1 cable to connect your laptop to achieve a 240 hertz refresh rate on your monitor or whatever display that you're using so basically the question is is it a viable option and for people that don't know what viable means, like, is it a good option? Is it a, like something to even think about? But anyway, let's find out in this video. But before we actually dive into the video, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon. I don't ask it every time, but in this video, I feel like asking. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, stay updated to all my, you know, tech. I'm like, y'all know I'm a gamer. I'm not really a tech guy, but I'm pretty informed about this one. You feel me? So anyway, let's get started into the video. So part one is understanding HDMI 2.1 cables. So to begin with, let's talk about like the HDMI 2.1 cable. Uh, the HDMI 2.1 cable is the latest version of the HDMI standards, you know, and it's designed to support high bandwidth and enable advanced features such as AK resolution, variable refresh rate, hashtag VRR and more other stuff. However, it's important for you guys to know that the HDMI 2.1 cables are primarily meant for TVs, gaming consoles, and other devices that require high resolution and high refresh rate capabilities. You feel me? I'm going to repeat it again. Primarily meant for TVs, gaming consoles, and other devices that require high refresh rate and other refresh rate capabilities. You didn't hear a monitor in there, right? Anyway, let's go into the second part, which is laptop limitations. So when it comes to laptops, the story is a bit different. While some laptops do come with the HDMI 2.1 port, which you'll see on your, on, at the back of your laptop, if yours doesn't have it, it's okay as well. They often have internal hardware limitations that prevent them from fully utilizing the features offered by HDMI 2.1. Most laptops have their display panels directly connected to the GPU, which means the refresh rate is limited by the laptop's display interface, usually DisplayPort or EDP, which means embedded display port, like maybe type C or DP1 or what? I think that's the only two, right? <laughs> For gaming laptops. So now we're going to be talking about the part three, which is DisplayPort versus HDMI. DisplayPort is the preferred interface for high refresh rate gaming, especially on like laptops. It offers higher bandwidth, better support for adaptive sync technologies like G-Sync and FreeSync, and more flexibility for higher refresh rates. HDMI, on the other hand, has traditionally been associated with TVs and home theater setups which prioritize resolution and media playback features. Part four, laptop GPU and refresh rate compatibility. So another crucial aspect to consider is your laptop's GPU. While some laptops may have powerful graphics cards capable of outputting high refresh rates, others may not. Even if your laptop has an HDMI 2.1 port, your GPU may not support 200 and 40 hertz refresh rate limiting the effectiveness of using the hdmi 2.1 cable and lastly in part 5 we're going to be talking about alternative solutions if you're looking to achieve a 240 hertz refresh rate on your laptop the best and most reliable option to use is a display port cable display port provides better compatibility higher bandwidth and is specifically designed for high performance display most gaming laptops come with a display port or a mini display port which mine has actually and making it an ideal choice for achieving the desired refresh rate which is obviously 240 or 160 or 180 or 144 whatever it may be but the display port is a more it's a more safer and easier option and you don't have to do that many things anyway guys in summary of everything i said while hdmi 2.1 cables are fantastic for high resolution displays and gaming consoles which is like ps5 ps4 or xbox and all this stuff they may not be the best choice when it comes to achieving a 244 hertz refresh rate on a laptop connecting it to a monitor laptop hardware limitations display interface restrictions 
and GPU compatibility issues can all hinder the effectiveness of using an HDMI 2.1 cable, uh, cable, cable, cable. But remember, always check your laptop specifications and capabilities before investing in expensive cables or adapters like the cable i have they both like i have a type c cable and i have a dp cable they're both display port cables and they both have 8k like 8k on it so it can basically go all the way from 0 hertz to 240 hertz actually i think more than 240 hertz because i asked specifically the shop that i was buying and even on the cable it says 8k and blah the, the 8k is not really the problem it's just the cables are able to display the 240 hertz which is what we actually want so opting for a display port cable can give you a more reliable and better performance solution for achieving a high refresh rate on your laptop when you connect it to the monitor so guys that's it for today's video i hope i cleared up any confusion surrounding the hdmi 2.1 cables and the 240 uh, not 44 <laughs> 240 hertz on laptops and if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share it with your friend that also has this problem or your friend that's trying to buy a laptop and they want to buy a monitor you know eventually because most people after having a laptop for a long time they want an external monitor because it just looks better because the screen is bigger you know you can see more you don't really have to squint your eyes and all this so recommend it to them as well if this helped you out and as always leave a comment and questions below you all know i'll be answering all them questions you feel me and thanks for watching the video i hope to see you in the next one and just to be nice i'll leave you all with a live performance of yours truly Playing the guitar. Bye. Ah, ah, ah. Let me give you a bar. Yeah, yeah. Yo, subscribe to my YouTube, Shape of Five. If you don't, I will not be happy. So please do it for me. This is kind of cringe, so I'm gonna stop. Mm.